Hi, everyone. I'm Ying. I'm a professor and the undergraduate program coordinator in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering at HKUST. Hello, I'm Terence. I'm also a faculty member in CBE, and I'm actively involved in the bioengineering program. We are now at the newly renovated Chemical and Biological Engineering Experiential Learning Lab on HKUST campus. This lab represents another innovation for our department on UG education. We are very happy to have the opportunity to tell you about the UG programs in Chemical and Biological Engineering. Hey Ying, it seems intuitive to know what civil engineering, mechanical engineering, or computer engineering is. But what is chemical and biological engineering? Chemical and biological engineers design processes and processes using knowledge about molecular transformation. We can create a physical, chemical, or biological process to turn raw materials to high-value products. We can design innovative products to meet our daily needs, as well as to address the grand challenges in food, healthcare, energy, and environment. It's still quite abstract. Shall we show some examples of research conducted in CBE? How about starting with your lab? Sure. My research team designs and makes special peptides that can wrap around DNA and spontaneously form these 70 nanometer particles with intricate patterns. Since they look so much like viruses, we are now programming them to function as vaccines and carriers of gene therapy. Wow, so the invention may protect us from infection. This is the ultimate goal. A number of CBE professors are engineering biology to improve healthcare. Professor Sunfei's lab is giving DNA instructions for bacteria cells to make intriguing proteins, for example, that can form light responsive gels for growing stem cells. Professor King Lun Yang and his team have invented a coating containing nanofibers that can keep any surface germ free for a long time. It illustrates how chemical and biological engineers can use nanotechnology during this time to fight COVID-19. Terence, I know you are working on a very meaningful technology that can save the lives of breast cancer patients. Yes, indeed. My lab is working on an advanced imaging tool that can be used during the surgery. Traditionally, medical doctors don't know for sure whether they have removed all the cancer cells from patients until days after the operation. Using photoacoustic imaging and deep learning algorithms, doctors can now make the best decision on the spot during the surgery. Professor Ji Huan Wong, who is teaching the data science course in bioengineering, is taking the DNA sequence from cancer tissues of individual patients to understand how the cancer evolves. Using computational methods, his team has found a new drug target against brain cancer. Other than healthcare, Research in CBE encompasses energy and environment applications. For example, Professor Yun Kim is creating unique porous materials that are able to remove heavy metal ions from wastewater and to improve the performance of hydrogen fuel cells. Graphene is an amazing material with excellent thermal and electrical conductivity. Professor Tom Law is scaling up graphene production to build supercapacitor for charging future electric vehicles and construct membranes for seawater desalination. Yang, students may wonder they are able to join these exciting research projects. A definite yes. CBE is a strong believer of student innovation, and undergraduate research is an important learning experience for students in CBE. I am proud to say that our students have won many competitions, including the President's Cup, which is the most prestigious award for student innovation at HKUST. They are also winners of the National Challenge Cup and numerous other international competitions. To innovate, students must have a good foundation. CBE curriculum equips students with solid fundamentals and transferable skill sets such that they can apply their knowledge to solve a wide range of problems. CBE offers three programs, Chemical Engineering, abbreviated as CNG, Chemical and Environmental Engineering, CEEV, and Bioengineering, BIEN. Terence, what's special about the Bioengineering program at HKUST? The Bioengineering curriculum trains students to develop quantitative skills to understand and tackle important problems in health and life science. 
There are two main focuses, one on the development of bio-instrumentations, bio-sensors and materials, and another on analyzing big health data. Our faculty members come from multidisciplinary backgrounds that are beyond traditional chemical engineering, including optical engineering, neuroengineering, computer science, and life science. What's the highlight for the other two programs? Students in CENG and CEUE learn how to apply engineering calculations to describe physical phenomena. They are trained to design safe, efficient, and green processes applicable to a wide range of industries, from chemical production to waste treatment to pharmaceutical manufacturing. Students can look up the details in the departmental homepage following the link here. Our department places a lot of emphasis on UG teaching because of the increasingly important role of chemical and biological engineers on innovative products. We are now developing a new course in which students turn their knowledge and innovation to design new products and processes for solving an open-end problem. Our colleagues plan to engage students with experiential learning and blended learning approaches. The department has just established a new experiential learning lab to support hands-on experience in any CBE courses, as well as student-led innovations. It has become a tradition for our department to send student teams to United States every year for the Chem -E Car competition held at the annual meeting of American Institute of Chemical Engineers. Terence, can you guess the link between cars and chemical engineering students? Students assemble not only the car with 3D printing, but also design batteries to power the car. They need to make very precise prediction about the distance based on the reaction engineering. During research, attending conferences, joining competitions are part of the co-curricular activities in CBE. These co-curricular activities are very important part of the university education. Therefore, in our UG curriculum, we are building some flexibility so that students can easily arrange the coursework to make up an entire semester spent outside the campus. Sysmax, a medical diagnostic company, is offering our students summer internship in Japan. These are just some good examples. One of the biggest questions students have when selecting major is what the future career path will be. We are the only chemical and biological engineering department in Hong Kong. This makes it unique and always number one. I can see that is a strong advantage for our students to continue postgraduate study. In fact, our students have been admitted to the top universities, including MIT and UC Berkeley. But being the only one, mm, does that mean that it's difficult to find a real job? Quite the opposite. The versatile skill sets and the rare ability to handle numbers plus different scientific fields are in high demand in today's rapidly changing business and industry. Our students have found their careers in environmental consulting, biotech startup, safety management, and government offices, just to name a few. We have invited a young CB graduate, Samantha Kong, to share with you about her career path. Samantha was named top 10 outstanding youth in 2014 and was recognized as environmental educator under 30 by the North America Association for Environmental Education in 2018. She also wrote a book with a Chinese title, So Should Engineering Si Sui Po Fo. After Samantha's sharing, let's also hear what a long-time employer of CBE says about our graduates and their career prospects. 叫 Samantha Kong， 係二零一四年 Chemical and Environmental Engineering 畢業嘅 CEV。誒、呃，咁我而家就做咗嘢接近五年啦。咁我就誒、嗯、由 spread 咗之後，我就去咗誒、呃、美國聯合國做嘢啦。就主要係做一啲誒、呃、drafting， 即係按一啲 policy 嘅一啲政策嘅嘢啦。咁就按誒、呃、United Nations 嘅 Sustainable Development Goals SDG 嘅。咁之後我喺嗰度做咗幾個月之後啦，就翻咗嚟香港，就 join 咗 Smart Asia Limited， 就係一間新加坡嘅、呃、consulting firm 啦，顧問公司啦。咁就主要就、呃、行一個 H R E 嘅 Scheme A and Environmental Discipline 嘅 training 啦。咁就喺誒即係好好成功地就、呃、成為咗 H R E Training of the Year。咁就喺四年半之內咧，就已經舊年已經成為咗一個 Charter Engineer 啦。咁誒啱啱喺上個月啦，咁我就誒而家過咗嚟 OVR 嗰度
誒都係顧問公司嘅，咁就係誒做 senior engineer 啦，就主要 oversee 誒呢個 building sustainability 嘅。咁就誒、呃、講返，即係可能以前喺科大一啲嘅經歷啦，咁我就覺得即係 CBE 係一個誒、呃，即係我會形容佢為一個細嘅家庭啦。咁其實細都有細嘅好嘅，因為其實可以同一啲教授好誒、呃，好可以好直接咁去交流啦。甚至而家我畢咗業六年五年啦，五至六年啦，咁我有時都會即係偶然都會翻去同教授即係去交流，即係睇下可能自己可能喺工作上或者可以誒點、呃、樣去再做好啲啊咁樣。咁其實誒、呃、科大嘅一個誒，俾、呃、咗我哋一個很好好嘅、呃、教育啦。喺除咗 hard skills 方面，其實 hard skills 主要按一啲可能 technical knowledge 啊，點樣喺工作上可以 apply 到我哋即係一啲誒同我哋個 f o r c 有關嘅知識啦。其實 soft skills 都有好多，例如可能 communication skills 啊 ，collaboration 即係可能誒之後同學會做一啲 capstone project 啊 ，final year project 啊，咁甚至係一啲 leadership 嘅 role 啦。咁其實呢幾樣嘢都好，即係我會形容 CBE 係一個好 versatile。誒、呃、或者可能甚至我哋讀個科係好 versatile， 即係好即係甚至可以好好 all round 咁樣去 prepare 我哋 for 我哋一個 career， 咁即係基本上到而家我哋都誒、呃、即係我自己 personal 啲啦，都好即係好感激自己係呢一個誒 department 畢業嘅，因為即係機會真係有好好多俾我哋啦，即係 department 啲誒教授都好悉心 drive 到我哋，咁希望即係同學誒。呃都多啲了解我哋呢個 department 啦，咁去諗下自己將來想、呃、做啲乜嘢，而其實呢個 department 有好多機會俾大家，咁希望大家可以、呃、了解多啲，跟住就即係把握機會去揾出自己嘅、呃、成長之路咯。Thank you。I'm Daniel Cheng, Dunwell Technology Holdings Limited Managing Director. To share with you. What kind of prospect you get from Dunwell? Well, the best person to tell you will be Ai. But before that, I want to tell you that there has been 45 schemes joining Dunwell all these years, and they all have excelled and done very well. Well, the time now is Ai. You go ahead and tell everybody what you have learned or what you have done in Dunwell. I joined Dunwell in 2001, and it's been two decades. I work here. Other than Scheme A training, I also gained、uh, a lot overseas working experience, and I think that this is、um, this is the most valuable to me. Well, perhaps you can share with us your excitement from working overseas and how difficult it is. I think it's a very, very challenging to fulfill every client's、um, specific technical. Environmental and safety requirements, and other than that,、um, interpersonal skills is the most challenging part. Yes, working well with people is something that we want to, you know, train and provide training for our trainees, engineers. Because most engineers, they're good with technical is part, but dealing with people is important. Another part that is very important is learning the business nature of engineering. So you can make money for the company and also create value for our clients. We have many engineers working with us. It's a teamwork. So it's your turn, turn now. I hope you have a better understanding about the undergraduate programs and the research in chemical and biological engineering. For more information, please also go to our website and check out Instagram. You're also welcome to reach us if you have any questions. Now you should see that chemical and biological engineers play many important roles in innovation for many aspects in our society. If you are interested in developing your future career in CBE and contribute to the society, we hope that we can see you on HKUSD campus very soon. Thank you.